Oh my god. Alright, so we've got Rosalina versus Sonic. This is a matchup I'm not super familiar with. I know Ken has beaten the buzz, but at the same time I'm also... Yes, uh, Ken and the buzz have gone, ba have gone back and forth on set, so it's certainly possible for uh, this one to go either way, I'd say. But this is, a, this is certainly a matchup where both sides get their stuff in, because Rosalina, solid juggler, and especially with uh, gravitational pull and just her general ability to float around and move well, I think that spring isn't too much of an issue, and without spring, Sonic is really, really going to struggle with the lane. So I'd say this is strongly in Weasel's favor. Um, and let's see if uh, Weasel can maintain his undefeated record this season, because he has not dropped a set, and I know some of y'all in, in, uh, in the chat love that, uh, that young Weasel, and... Uh, well, let's see some weasel love in the chat before him, and some solid love in the chat beforehand. Um, so, we've got a strong percent lead from the weasel. Uh, he's, he's got about an 80, 90 percent lead. Really strong, because that means Sonic has to come at you, and that means Rosa just gets to do what she does best, which is, ooh, which is that. She just gets to up air that Sonic, closes that stock quickly, and only 36 percent on Aaron. So this is, uh, this is looking like a pretty strong game on for the Weasel. Uh, keep in mind, folks, that this is a best of five, so that even if this is a, uh, a two-stock from the Weasel, it's also, there's plenty of time for Solid to adjust, and he has made some adjustments already. Like, we're already seeing a lot of good damage come out. Uh, if we can get a kill off this, because keep in mind, Rosalina is very light. Oh, As I say Rosalina is very light, she dies at, like, that's unfortunate. Um, closing it out with a bear. Great stuff by Solid. And he has even this game up. That is huge for him because Rosalina with a stock lead is not a Rosalina you want to fight as Sonic. Alright. Tries to catch ledge with uh, that forward smash. That's a really strong tool for Sonic in this matchup because of Rosalina's linear recovery. He should be able to time it and he should be able to get some kills off that if he's careful. Jabs into grab. Again, this is more of what the weasel does best. This is that suffocation that you can't land versus me, and then you just get caught by an up air, and you're dead. And you're dead. Excellent trapping by uh, the weasel, and uh, closing out that first game. Again, pretty solid. Like it was, it was a situation where um, this was a really momentum-based first game, where uh, the weasel took that first duck, only 36% on, and then solid. Just kind of ran it back. Solid. Um, closing out that last stock. What was the score? All right, we've got a new tag coming out. What form of DD will we have to deal with today? I see a BJ. I see an MO. We got a lot of. It's Bowser Jr. Morton. This is a Morton. And this is a Morton Master. Oh my goodness gracious. We have got the youngest uh, Bowser Jr. coming out. Yo, Max, can you shift over here for your next set? So, Morton. <laughs> Dylan, on this setup. Now listen, all right, I'm not going to say I have one big preference for the, uh, for the Koopalings, but Morton, definitely a good pick. The Morton Master and the Morton Masher. Ooh. Now, I, I love me some Morton, man. Yeah, that set My boy is now. thick. My boy is goofy. And above all no, else, I mean, anyone who wants to play, can play that. He's Morton. All right. So, Morton Master starting things off with the uh, cart into an aerial. I honestly don't think that this is at all in Bowser Jr.'s favor because some of the few things he does have are some half decent projectiles in, uh, in Down B. Neutral B isn't good, and Neutral B is not a good projectile. Um, although I do like the the strength that's going to be in the smash attacks, because as mentioned earlier, and as we saw earlier with an early kill from Solid, Rosalina is not a heavy character, so it will not take a lot of damage for him to be in like a scary percent, because forward smash is brutal, bear is brutal, up smash is brutal. So, uh, that's really what we're going to need to see. And the question is, can this Rosa keep out this speedy Koopaling? And the answer is yes, a bear closes out that first stock really early. Now granted, 
we did see an early stock with a with low percent coming out from Weasel in game one, and uh, Solid was still able to make it close, and he was still able to uh, make it last stock. Um, a nice forward smash, and that almost killed. Like I said earlier, light characters and brutal forward smashes, closing it out with a fair, just kind of says, hey man, here's a ball. Here's a re he hit him with a Miley Cyrus, coming in like a wrecking ball. And um, so here's a big issue for Bowser Jr. is the offstage and the, and the getting juggled. Is Rosalina is very good at that, and uh, Bowser Jr. is not great at land. He's got some stuff, but his recovery can be exploitable. Um, if he loses the... Uh, ooh, just letting him know you can't up smash there. Grab those. And uh, getting some percent on him. Again, it's about a 60% deficit, but as we saw earlier, um, Solid is no stranger to closing out Aaron Stocks early. So, let's see if he can get another one of that to, uh, to even up the games. Alright, trying to get a bear, misses it, and then gets dash attack for his troubles. Alright, tries to cover ledge with forward smash, it's a good option, but it doesn't quite work out for him. Alright, he's just kind of scooting around. Ooh, and I really like the drop down into a bear. Goes for forward smash, and that honestly could have killed. We're at an almost max rage Bowser Jr. here, versus, a, versus as mentioned many times, very light low one. Ooh. Oh, and is that it? Oh, it doesn't quite. Hangs on to that stock. Max Rage Bowser Jr. Forward smashing Rosalina doesn't quite close it out. But we are just... Ooh, and that is an up smash, and that is game two going to the Weasel. So this is very tricky for our boy Solid, a.k.a. the Ryu Deity, a.k.a. the Sonic God, a.k.a. the Morton Master. He is in trouble. He is down two games, and he best of five. This is a tricky situation. If he wants to win this, he's going to have to reverse 3-0 the Weasel, which is something that I haven't really seen. It's very rare. This dude's Rosa is no joke, and uh, it's no slouch. We've got a new tag. First came the Sonic God. Second came the Ryu Deity. Oh, we've got a sellout God. We have some downloadable content headed your way, folks. You know, everyone's favorite characters to watch. Either way, we got some tilt stick, we got some L jump headed out, and we have got the sell out god. Going into game three, let's see what the power of selling out can do. And we have got the youngest Kong. I predict the downloadable content. We got we got Diddy. We got Diddy loadable content now. I thought we had a whole different situation here. So, Sonic. Sell out. Sell out God. You'd go Cloud if you were selling out. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically Cloud is buying instead of selling. <laughs> Either way. Um, so, we have got the Diddy coming out versus this Rosa. And I think Rosa is a much more doable matchup for Diddy. I think Banana can get... Um, Messed up a gravi gravitational pull sometimes, but past that, I'd say this is pretty strongly in Diddy's favor. I'd say Diddy is a lot of stuff he can do in this matchup, and uh, he's got he's he's able to juggle back versus Aaron, which is something that he's been lacking, and uh, he's got a bit more escape options from those juggles. I'd say this is a uh, solid pick, a solid attempt for that game three, seeing if he can prevent this 3-0 and possibly work towards a uh, a reverse 3-0. Getting an up smash to close out that first stock. This is looking really strong for Solid. This is looking like something that could be a potential way for him to make this, this set comeback. And it, it's, it's tricky for him for sure, but he's certainly looking like he's got the stuff to do it. Um, and any damage he gets right now is, is, is big because Rosalina is really going to be looking for that kill urgently, especially on a ooh, town and city as mentioned earlier. Rosalina closing it out. Closing it out, and we have got ourselves an even game, folks. So let's see if, if uh, this is a matter of skill or adaptation. Because as the game has progressed, Aaron has gotten better and better at catching this monkey and just kind of punishing him for anything he wants to do. And just as I say that, um, Aaron takes the percent lead, and this is big for him. Oh. Ooh, nice tech by uh, the weasel. Not letting that bear decide his stocks for him. And oh, oh, I looked away for a second, and Rosalind died. Hold on, let me let me look at the let me look at the replay and see what happened. 
oh wow, it was just an SD. It was just a fair, and then he just kind of fell. And that is game three going to solid. So this is either the beginning of something or a gasp for air before drowning. All right, and we've got a new tag, folks. How many tags must we have in this set before it is? DK? Bowser? Let's see what we've got. <laughs> oh, DD. Don't go DDD. God. Yeah, that was Thor. Thor, I shame on you. Suggesting DDD. You can love DDD, but that doesn't mean you love DDD Rosa. <laughs> So now we wait <laughs> to see what what character will be revealed by Solid's newest tag. Hey man. Oh, we've got some Mute City. Oh, the Mewtwo Mythic. Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. This, we got we got legends and legendaries out on deck. Let's see what we got coming out from Solid in Game 4. Let's see what this uh, what this Mewtwo can do. So, it's looking like we've got Mewtwo versus Rosalina. This is kind of tricky for Rosa because... Sorry, this is kind of tricky for Mewtwo because he can be combo food. And on top of being combo food, he can... Um, he does very early off the top. He's the second lightest character in the game. Which means that... If he can't keep, if he can keep up a solid neutral, and if he can't, I think Luma is going to be a very big key for Mewtwo in this match because Mewtwo has a lot of uh, moves that are disjointed, but at the same time, those disjoints will lose to Rosalina's Luma uh, unless he can get rid of it quickly. So I, I'd say Luma is a very, very important part of this matchup, and if he can't get rid of that Luma, then he's going to have a very tough time getting in. And if he can't get in, then Rosalina is just going to do her thing, and he's going he's gonna to drop this game for and drop the set. Gets an up air. Uh, finally, fares Luma. Doesn't get much more off that on Luma. And uh, charges and just gets hit by Luma. Um, good good uh, coverage of the neutral getup from Aaron. Knew it was coming. Just put out a shadow ball there said, hey man, stand up into this. <clears throat> Ooh, he closes out that first stock with a fair at only 60% on this Mewtwo. Um, and this was something we saw with the Diddy, where uh, it had a very strong start. So the question is, will Aaron adapt? Because as the set has gone on, we have just been getting more and more data on this Rosa. So Solid is able to kind of be, uh, be fresh with all these characters he's playing, whereas the Weasel has been playing exclusively Rosa, which means that Solid has a lot of data. Solid knows exactly, is able to know a lot of this character's like rhythms and uh, the edge guards that he's going to be going for. So because of that, we've seen some strong starts. So the question is, will the Weasel be able to learn the probably less complex secondary of uh, Solid or well, the uh, freshness of this, this new character come into play and uh, have this be a 3-1 for the reason. Alright, forward smashes Luma, doesn't quite kill him. He's looking for, for a little bit more damage than he got. Alright, we got a Nair coming out. And again, Rosalina at 102. This is scary for her. Like, this is... The Weasel has kind of held control for a lot of this set, but uh, this is a situation where he is in a troubling situation. If he can't find some good damage really quick... And there's a fair. We have got a game of five, ladies and gentlemen. We could potentially have... This is 3-0. Damn. Weasel is best. There's a lot of... Yeah, that was... It really, really wasn't... Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of weasel love in the chat, but I, I won't I won't stand for any bashing. All right, we we respect our players out here. And listen, man, this tag bitch is uh, he's got two games on the weasel. So where you at, huh? Where you at? You got two games on the weasel? Oh, yo wait yo, can I get a tag bitch tag? <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have just received a big announcement. Uh, we have got a subscribe button 
before the Super Smash. Mega Marth. <laughs> Mega Marth. Powerful. This is this is this is next level, ladies and gentlemen. We have got the Mega Marth. The Marth Maniac. And um, so, if you're a fan of tippers, then uh, this is your this is your opportunity because the main thing you want to do as Marth is get rid of Luma quickly and then use your better spacing against Rosalina and just kind of force cut off options. And I like this look. Like I'm a big fan of color schemes, and this is a great this is a great this is a great work in terms of organizing colors. We got red, white, or we got white with red influences. And I'm a big fan. Alright, so let's see if this Mega Marth can close out this Game 5 situation and be the first person to take a set off of the Weasel in uh, 2018. But, so far, <laughs> it's looking like a nay. We have gotten no damage on this Rosalina. Like, we've finally taken out Luma, so this is this is a big play. This is, oh, and you cannot dash attack there. Dash attack is not a good move as Marth. Uh, kind of lost him some stage control, but he picks it back up quickly. Um, and again, he's just kind of keeping this Rosalina locked at ledge, which is exactly what you want to do while you uh, while the, while she doesn't have Luna. So the question is, can this Marth keep this up and just uh, take Luma out more times and use those opportunities and gets up smashed? This is very strong for the Weasel, only 59% on him. It, I'm personally, I, I I was trying to see that that, that Mewtwo. That Mewtwo did not get. Uh, it didn't feel like a gimmick. It felt like it won that honestly. And uh, this Marth is a little bit like more of a more of a gimmick, if I'm being honest. But it's okay. Got another up smash coming off Marin. Oh, and great coverage with the Luma shot into an up air. Um, all right. So the question is, will. Uh, Solid be able to take this back. And will Solid be able to get that early kill that he needs and get some quick percentage? Because that's what he wants to do if, he, if he's trying to win this game. So far, uh, the Weasel almost lapping him in percent. This is looking very, very scary for Marth because he's going to have to approach Rosalina. All right, he's got rid of Luma. That's exactly what he needs to do more of. And uh, let's see if he can... All right, goes for an up throw. That's not quite going to kill. It's a pretty, it's a pretty late uh, percentage where that throw is going to kill. Certainly on Luma with Rage, it'll be easier, but it's still a difficult process for certain. Okay, uh, that's a that could have been an up smash, but up throw closes it out. Um, so we have got the Weasel on his last stock and winner. Both players actually on their last winner stock, and he just gets stuck on the Smashville platform, gets trapped, and that is game five going to the Weasel. Great stuff by Solid, taking him to game five. Um, basically, that's those are the only two games he's dropped so far this turn. So, very, very strong stuff coming out from the Weasel.